sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons. Of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. There you go. I'll be channeling this energy. You can show me what it is I need to see. Oh, we got eighth house and Taurus. This is a partnership surrounding money. Somebody has uh, debt here. This could be something platonic or this could be an organization is what I'm getting. Okay. Somebody holds a lot of karmic debt in this situation. You can have Taurus in the eighth house, Scorpio, or these are the signs that are involved. It could be a moon sign as well. Pisces or Cancer is also involved. I feel like there's some sort of illusion here. This illusion can have something to do with somebody's character or somebody's judgment of someone's character. You can show me what it is I need to see. You can show me what... <clears throat> somebody could have cancer in the North Node or actual, some, uh, actual ailment. Now, I got to say, if you are experiencing any mental, physical health issues, psychological issues, um, spiritual issues... Seek out the proper authorities. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. There was some sort of judgment, false judgment surrounding some sort of belief. Could be finances or maybe even education or institution. Okay, something shifted in someone's favor. It could have happened in the eighth month. Okay, uh, July, uh, August could be significant as well. Also in the second month. If some of you, you go back into your... Uh, charts, analytics, finances, you may notice some things that took place in those months, okay? This is surrounding someone that's very nurturing. Could be a cancer, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. This could be someone's opposite is also what I'm picking up. <clears throat> this could be male or female. We got Sagittarius, Taurus. This could have, uh, they could have it, or you could have it in the third house. Gemini's in question. This could be siblings, colleagues. This is also about communication, surrounding somebody's resources. Yeah, this is an institution, okay? Things could be traveling quickly. This could have something to do with the World Wide Web, okay? Or bad news travels fast. Both of these signs are Sagittarius that have belong to Sagittarius. Could be a Pisces as well. This is surrounding a major change or a major opportunity. Okay, this has something to do with somebody's resources. Okay, somebody was trying to nurture something. This person may have took you for granted or some sort of information that you shared with this person or vice versa. Either show me what it is I need to see. So we're definitely speaking about a soul contract, okay? Somebody involved in this has Gemini or Scorpio in their chart, in their major placements here. Somebody's calling themselves a master teacher, an ascended master, or they may be working with beings, okay? But this is like a karmic contract. This is something that's not covered by the divine, okay? This person can also, <clears throat> excuse me, this person could also be hallucinating is also what I'm picking up. This individual is trying to channel archangels. Okay, a Scorpio could be significant, Cancer and Pisces, or these are the people that are in cahoots together. Definitely, we're picking up on a Pisces energy. This person may uh, try to tap into your intuition, or this is you. They may even call themselves a high priestess, or they called you one, or whoever this is. But we're definitely picking up on Pisces energy. And so there's some sort of delusion here. This person is not realizing that they are communicating with lower vibrational energies. This individual is mistaking um, angels of light for angels of darkness is what I'm picking up. Why is eighth house here? Sun. Somebody's realizing something about some manipulation. Could be a Capricorn sun, Libra sun. These are all karmic contracts, soul contracts. Somebody wants to be released from. This person or you, you're changing your perspective or you're being placed yeah, under judgment here. This could be spiritual court or some sort of trial. I do not give legal advice. <clears throat> Eighth house, why is this here? Second. Virgo. So we got Virgo in the building. So somebody's realizing something about a transaction. 
Okay. You could be this person that's in this high priestess energy, male or female. This is someone that channels dark and light. This is somebody that's balanced regardless if you are high priestess or high priest or whatever, a tarot reader. Okay. You're not, you're not judgmental. So you're receiving some sort of download from the divine. So you're being guided to pay attention because you're going to realize something about your finances. A Leo could be involved. Taurus, Virgo, Strong, Capricorn, Mercury. We're talking about Gemini, manipulation, trickster type of energy. And we also have a third party that could be an Aquarius. This is something that's hidden. Yeah, this is something that's hidden. This person, this person may be channeling from darkness is also what I'm picking up because the cycle was complete. Maybe you travel forward. Okay, or this happened while somebody was traveling. Okay, this is this could be some information that was shared underground or in secret. This person was a minion. They were being puppeteered. This is a cycle that closed already. Whoever this is, they may not be aware that this is closed. Okay, show me what it is I need to see. So we got boundaries. Somebody oversteps um their boundaries here this person lacks self-worth okay this person does not care for themselves like they should this individual needs healing if this is you uh you need some healing you know you need to go to the god your universe whatever it is that you're in alignment with because there was some sort of shift that took place in the past this is scorpionic energy we're talking about ascension here 33 deals with a shift in consciousness Okay, I believe this individual may feel like they are ascended master. Okay, somebody's trying to channel. <laughs> uh, I can't say that. There was some sort of illusion that was created in the past. Okay, this person was trying to stop somebody's ascension. Um, this individual do they think that they are uh, a high priestess or maybe even an arch, a arch angel? Excuse me. So something needed to be cycled out. A star is significant. It could be a fallen star. Maybe you've seen a fallen star. Or they were trying to make a star fall. So we got Goddess Lakishmi. We're talking about prosperity. This person was channeling deities, pantheons, or something like that. That's significant. This person does not see themselves are be as beautiful or fortunate, prosperous, or maybe they didn't want you to be seen as that. Okay? So, yeah, somebody's... Um, they're mentally unstable, so if that is you, make sure to seek out uh, some help here, okay? So somebody's mental health is that question because of what they did in the dark, something that they did in the past with the eighth house. This is surrounding a partnership, okay? This person may have uh, been in debt, but whatever it is, if this is you, okay? Somebody tried to, like, weaken someone's defenses. This is someone that overstepped their boundaries. This is somebody that your boundaries. Maybe theirs too. This is someone that operates out of their unconscious fears. Why is the second house here? You may have your defenses up at, at this time or this person ooh, or this person does. Okay. So this is surrounding your family or their family. So we're definitely speaking about something or someone that is in balance. We have Archangel Raquel. Okay. Somebody's going through some sort of rebirth here. This energy and this energy is the same, um, as well as this one as well. So we got the eighth house here. The eight could be significant. We're talking about success. This is talking about power, okay, authority, somebody overstepping their boundaries. This is somebody that's obsessed, possibly with the cancer, or you are this cancer and you are obsessed. So we're definitely dealing with a, a fallen angel here. All right, so I'm being with this, the southern, southern star, eastern star. Okay, so this is a, like um, a, a collaboration of three or more people. And so if you have this debt and you see that these archangels are in reverse, it's, it's very important for you to turn them into upright. Okay. Somebody had high expectations. This is someone that lost their creativity. And so they were borrowing from others. Okay. Yeah. This person did not want you to love yourself. Okay. Or other people to love you. What's at the bottom? Cleanse. So somebody needs to cleanse their energy. 
okay? Somebody could be having heart palpitations or some sort of anxiety. Please, seek professional help. Now, the full card in reverse. So we got the full card in reverse, um, clarifying the eighth house. So this has something to do with somebody's finances, okay? Somebody was that was indeed obsessed with somebody else's downfall. This person may not be aware that they made a foolish mistake. It's also what I'm picking up. This person was careless in their actions and their deeds. Why is the fool card in reverse? This is, mm, this is a fallen star. This is somebody that didn't have to do what they did, but they did something for money. And I feel like they're realizing that or maybe who all, who all, all involved are realizing that. Need to show me what it is I need to see. Okay, so this person needs to heal. This was somebody that was a generational breaker for their bloodline. Um, their mother or your mother could have been a healer as well. Maybe even the Cancer, a Virgo, a Leo, Aquarius, or their parents was. So we got a, a business deal goes bad. All right, so somebody was making deals in secret with the eighth house. This is someone that did not realize that they were, a light was being shined on them, or they were doing this to like a star, a celebrity, or somebody that was protected. And this was definitely something that was hidden with the eighth house being here. We're talking about somebody's prosperity. Um, yeah. Somebody could fall along the lines of uh, officious. You know, what, what is that? Scorpio Sag around that around that or on the cuffs okay so this person may have grew up a latchkey kid or maybe an only child okay if this is this could be about somebody's child somebody that you had a divorce from as well that is eighth house so mm, so we got mercury energy so somebody was using these arch angels to open up gates Okay, they were doing this to a healer. They were trying to like drain this person's abundance here. And so we got untapped potential. So maybe you didn't know that you had this potential or this person didn't. Okay, this was some sort of collaboration of, with, with people. Okay, they didn't, want see, they didn't want people to see your potential. I'm experiencing something similar. So maybe you're dealing with the same group of individuals. Okay, and if this is not um, something that's taking place online, this is happening at your work or people in your environment. For some of you, this is somebody that you were in a joint venture with. Okay, um, mm, somebody didn't file their taxes. Okay. Somebody is, uh, something's weighing heavy on this person's heart. They want to confess something. They were possibly being guided to confess something. And that, mm, somebody's delusional. So this person was in secret competition with you or this is you. This is surrounding someone's finances. Yeah. There was some sort of change that happened. Something changed instantly. This is surrounding your emotions. This could have took place at nighttime, maybe in the dream state. You are being guided to use your intuition. Yeah. Somebody does some, some form of manipulation while you are asleep. You're doing this currently, but I feel like this was a this was something that you did or this person did in the past. And that's why we got the full card in reverse. This is something that they cannot get back. They they can't take it back. Okay. Somebody, mm, somebody was using beings, like lower vibrational beings. That's the only thing that I could say. Why is cancer here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I've seen that colleague card. Somebody knows the truth. It could be a family member or somebody was pretending to be your family member. Somebody's with child. Or they want a new opportunity. Matthew 18, 10, ESV um, is significant. Okay. This could also be like the birth of something new. Maybe you have a new child. You could be healing from that. Somebody could be going through po uh, post that postpartum. You're looking for answers. <clears throat> You're looking for answers. Okay. And a lot of people are looking for answers. <laughs> 
Scales are being balanced and you don't even know it. Why is the full card here? Okay, so there's explosive. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. You know that happens when I start channeling. You know how people be clicking their heels together. They don't want me to speak. But I'm going to speak. I'm going to speak my piece. <clears throat> Somebody loses control of their emotions when they don't get what they weigh. I mean, get their way. Get what they weigh. Oh. So somebody's trying to be a heavyweight. There's some, some, some sort of argument that's taking place in the past. Okay? Because, because this person lacked humility. Apathy. This is surrounding a new beginning a offer. 777 could be significant. 888. Okay? The 888 portal is not until next year. All right? So maybe you're being guided to share something next year. There was some sort of confusion and chaos that took place in the past. Okay? Somebody wanted you to be confused and chaos. And, chaos, and that's possibly why they channeled these lower vibrational energies. The sun, why is that here? Somebody's realizing something. Something about prosperity, some finances. Oh, yeah. Somebody realizes that someone is focusing on your finances or somebody is realizing that you are focusing on someone else's finances if you are the person that is in secret competition. We have opposition here. We got the ops. <clears throat> These people are working together. They're all expecting to receive some sort of payment. Hold on. All right. So listen, somebody's expecting to receive some payment. You could be a Taurus or somebody involved is a Taurus here. They could be paying for advice or they did in the past. Somebody gave a bad, uh, ooh, I was going to say a bad review. Somebody gave a bad review or bad advice to someone that was trying to manipulate someone's data, accounts, or something like that, okay? Um, there was some sort of reading done surrounding this, okay? Somebody was pulling cards or doing some form of divination, going to the archangels of lower, the lower archangels for advice here, okay? This could be all a group of people that are working together. And there go that Scorpio Sag cuts, but it could be two different individuals. Somebody has a Sagittarius sun sign that is involved. It could be a Leo as well. This person was focused on your finances. They were cahoots. They were in cahoots here to throw somebody off balance. Somebody is also a healer. Um, they could have been doing this to a healer. Maybe they didn't know. Here we have it. Ascension. And so I'm going to say it again. There is a difference between ascend and ascension. Okay? So, somebody is in the midst of a battle here. Okay? You conquered something. <clears throat> and somebody is not aware that you conquered something. Mm. Family and fake friends that talk behind your back. For some of you, this is the illusion. These are not your friends. These are not your family. Okay? And they possibly went online and maybe, you know, you know how people tag your, your, your photos? For some of you, this is how these people got a hold of uh, people that they are impersonating. And people know it. And this person was warned. Something happened instantly when they did that. Okay? They went through some sort of awakening. <clears throat> so you're attached to someone with a lot of karmic debt. I feel like people are detaching from you or whoever this is, okay? This is something that you may have uh, channeled. You may not have known or this person may not have known that they were channeling their own energy. But this is someone that had a cord on a, on a healer, okay? It could be a high priestess, a shaman, um, you know. Somebody cut that cord. And the portal was open. And that was balance that was being restored. Yeah. So, yeah. You spoke some sort of truth. You had to speak this truth. Or you have to. And someone realizes that. Okay. This could be a family friend of yours or this person that spoke the truth and they cut someone off. Okay. For some of you, this is a reader that this is happening to. All right. I'm going to close it there. Deuces.